Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our journey through Darkest Dungeon 2 and have our first attempt at the Darkest Mountain on the second challenge or second boss. I have no idea what's about to happen so we're gonna try to prepare as much as possible. For the moment I just reduced the stress on everyone and I gave everybody some food and now I need to figure out like who will I provide with these buffs. Getting reinforcement at the start of the round, I guess we'll do it on the, mar on the man at arms. For the blight resistance, I believe that it's better suited for the highwayman. I mean, he's fairly squishable. Extra initiative. The extra initiative is either on Audrey or on Dismas, and I think getting this on Dismas is better because Audrey has quite a high initiative by herself. After which, resist, resistance to diseases, I would like to put on everyone else except for Boris, for our highwayman. He even got Iron Constitution, which gives him 20% extra health. That is really cool. I mean, no better timing than right before the Darkest Mountain. We're gonna throw a healing salve. Shall we leave it on him? Maybe it's better to give him something else. Like I'm thinking maybe herbs to you and provide the highwayman with a healing self because he has higher initiative. By the way, did you know that you can turn your characters? Okay, we have medicinal for herbs, we have bandages at this point and more medicinal herbs. I think that is good enough for now. We still have a few relics, so I would like Man, to take a look can, here. For wealth no longer has meaning. We have Indeed, slots and we means? have some reduced flame drain, okay. Is there anything here that could help us? Probably this, the stitching kit to heal our party. More hope, I don't think it matters. I don't see any kind of trinket that would really add up to what we need to do here. So let us take this teaching kit. A few of them just to, to try to heal up some of these. He became squeamish as well. Apparently that is about it, that's all that we can do there. And let's throw ourselves a few mastery points. Defender will be better because we can get some increased defense. So let's do this one. Crush is definitely something that I want as well. A double tap to increase the damage that we do to targets when under 50 HP. I think I do like that. Probably we can slice as well. On this side, poison dart is a good idea. And I guess I could do... let's do blinding gas as well. An ounce of prevention, increasing our resistances by 25% is a good idea. Hmm, what am I thinking? I haven't really used an ounce of prevention lately. But maybe this will change, right? Let's bring that in. And now let's head towards the mountain. Are we ready? We are ready. I am nervous, but I am ready. At last, the great ziggurat. Temples of failure and regret. On the plus side, at least we're getting a lot of hope. If we've reached the end of the run at this moment, we're getting all the hope, so... Pushing towards the end is not really a problem. Behold, the infinite emptiness of the void. So they... We can fight and get a dodge, or we can fight and get v vulnerability, or give them vulnerability. Vulnerability is good, but they might have dodges and other things at the beginning. Let's get dodge ourselves. An altar, a herald. 
And this guy which keeps changing. So the Deacon here keeps changing from melee skills to range skills on buffs and debuffs. Okay, let's do a duelist advance. Let's start us off as per usual. I'm going to go with a play grenade. Altar of Resentment is the crits, okay. And what else is he doing? Bone weaving for protection. Now, with our Grave Robber, we got an extra attack here, a 50% extra damage. And we're gonna hit this altar for 12, that is beautiful. And I can do here a crush which managed to take out the altar. That leaves us with only two enemies. Wow. So with 50% reduced melee skills, like it was in repost, and the 50% reduction in damage from the defense, he reduces damage by 100%, thus avoiding any kind of damage. His point blank shot didn't do a whole lot because he's protected against ranged skills. Throw dagger at the altar. Let's see. Flesh from bone. Ooh, five bleed per turn. Quite a lot. The slow suffering begins. Now I feel like I should just do this. We'll do blinding gas to begin with. Make them blind. I'm just gonna do a crush here. Get some healing back. A dualist advance, sure, we'll do that. And once again, we're gonna throw in the back a dagger. And we got a crit in, the herald is down, only the deacon remains. It's good that we've blinded him. Okay, I feel like, bro, like healing this, trying to remove the damage over time is a good idea. Okay, now he's protected against range attacks, so I'm just gonna do a wicked slice. We're gonna apply the melee attacks wherever possible. I'm gonna do a dead of night to make sure that we heal ourselves up. Since nothing else really works, we're gonna do a noxious blast as well. Throw that blight in. And the sundering still got... Hit the highwayman, but he's still okay. We got the free heal on our men at arms that is beautiful and we're almost done with this battle and we got him at death's door yeah we're pretty much done here well as long as he dies wow He's at 13 resistance to death's door, so that shouldn't have been that hard, but hey. It doesn't matter. Let it die. Loadsome went down, we're still good overall. No stress, good health. We're gonna re We're gonna heal again. We have another oblivion encounter here. And once again, get protection or give, give them vulnerability. Let's get protection on our entire party. I think that that is a good idea. Another hero, an evangelist, and one of these... Cardinals? Cardinals. Okay, we'll focus on the evangelist and we're gonna focus on the herald. So, duelist advance here in the front. Throw a dagger in the back and we got a beautiful 13 crate. The yawning. Okay, so this mixed up our party. It's a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Let's attack the herald here. This harmony. Good. Well, doesn't matter. We have killed one of them. Now, I could do a rampart here, and there's a chance 
let me do a rampart on the cardinal. There is a chance that we will stun it. We actually managed to stun it and daze it. The stun is the only thing that will truly apply. Do a duelist? Let's do a duelist advance. Yeah, nice. It's really nice how this game turned... This game turned the tactic from the last one to stun enemies from the first darkest dungeon into something where you are, at least at the beginning of the game, it doesn't seem like you're really spending time focusing on stuns, right? It, you do not have the abilities to do so. So that is really interesting to me. What am I going to do here? I'll do a poison dart. Cool. Another free heal for the men at arms. I would have liked to see something else, but we'll try a blinding gas on the cardinal and we manage to hit. Now let's see. Hollow vessel. He missed beautiful. What do I do with the rest of you? Well, I will do a duelist advance and we got a crit there. I'm gonna do a noxious blast next. A crush and with Audrey I will use Dead of Night here. Let's see what the Cardinal will do. Hollow Vessel only hits one of them. We got some stress and a lot of debuffs. Or damage over time. I'll do a point blank. Which ensures a crit here almost. And now he's at death's door. Beautiful work. Time to see... Like, I could heal... Our mana turns, but I feel like it's better... Ah... I wanted to say that I think it's better to use it on the Highwayman, but sometimes love stops us from healing other people. Okay. The past is gone. Let it die. So what are we going to do now? We're just gonna enjoy our very first boss. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> the nightmare gate is revealed. Beyond, only infernal nihility and non existence. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. Face your failure. Minus 20 to Death's Door's resistance. Shallow breath. Okay, what is this? Increase damage and stress dealt by... Something. Remove if sufficient damage. Okay. So we have two lungs and a sitting sigh. Let us take a closer look at the thing, as repulsive as it is. Ah, so, so these are two lungs here, on the sides, and there we have a sitting sigh in the middle. Upon closer inspection? I feel like we should be doing this first, if possible. We Apparently I can't reach it, okay, so we can't hit that one. But this has the lowest life, then this, and then that. Let's focus on one lung. I like the fact that they've made them so much smaller here. Do I, should I just dare to dream and go to attack this one in the back? I don't think that that is a good idea. No, let's focus on one at a time here. Probably an ounce of prevention at this point might be a good idea. 
Let's do an ounce of prevention. Might be dumb. But it might also pay off. Okay, now let's see their first attack. Hysteria. Okay. Weakness. Wrath and anchor something. Okay, there is the blight. He put the blight on there. And that is a lot of damage and stress. Shallow breath. Okay, he spreads these buffs and debuffs around. And I think maybe that line is what we need to do in order to shatter this. Sundering Exhalation. Stress. Wrath of Rancor and Hysteria. Okay. I'll do a point blank shot. Beautiful! Yeah, and that took it off. Good to know. I will throw a poison dart here. Still resist it. What is our blight chance? Blind rage, which is blindness. Okay. Let's see. Okay, they do have a lot. Oh, it's only him that doesn't have resistance against Blight. So we just need to put damages on that. I could throw some heals around. But I could also do a play grenade. Or a, let's do a blinding gas. Let's see if. Huh. Okay, that is something that should have happened a lot earlier. Maybe a uh, defense would have been good as well. Now he has over here another damage increase. I'm not sure that I can do anything with her. But we're gonna try. Well done. Beautiful, we got a crit there and we removed its empowered ability. He's blinded one more time. Let me do a heal on the man at arms, making sure that he's stable. Ooh, a crit on Hysteria over there. And let me do this. Right, we're removing some of the stress. Hmm. Shallow breath. I need another crit there in the back to do this. It's definitely a lot tougher. But this point blank shot at least adds a lot of damage to it. That is a 5 damage, it's, it's not enough. And I can, I can get a heal here, but only if I hit. That blind, double blindness there is bad. Wrath and Rancorn, okay. A free stress heal, beautiful. And with you, I guess... I think blinding gas one more time is the right way to go here. Yeah. Blind rage, weakness. Okay. We are at death's door with the plague doctor. That was a lot of stress there. I'm guessing trying to take down the shallow breath is what you need. Let me heal first. Our Grave Robber. And I'm gonna do a Duelist Advance here. We got a nice crit on it. But we need more damage in order to... Make this happen. Good, we got the crit there. At least we've removed its ability. The problem is... We might lose the Plague Doctor in this play. Let me defend her. This gives us at least one chance to... Ooh, a beautiful crit there. Do not die. Okay, thank you very much. Time to heal. It's unfortunate that with this 
the ability to do a point blank shot on, on this lung has gone away. Okay. Duelist advance to begin with, but only a free damage there. Mm, not not good. I will try another blinding gas. Good. I can only do this once. Yeah, we're not in a great position here, but uh, beautiful that we get in crits. We're almost. He is blinded, which is annoying. There's a 50% chance that we will hit it. And we've missed, meaning that Sundering Exhalation will do a lot of damage to us. Okay. I like these attacks. So far, so good. Yeah. So, Sundering Exhalation is one of the abilities that... He will do no matter what I feel. Let's see. Shallow Breath, Seeding Sigh. Yeah, we're all at Death's Door now. Yep, we're all at Death's Door. Let's see, we're doing medicinal herbs now. Let's do this. We got a double attack in, at least we're gonna heal ourselves. With you, sure, we'll, we'll heal up, thing. bit unfortunate, we got a free heal there which is beautiful and we can heal the plague knight, we're the back brink. into the fight, but the problem is, how do we make sure that we're taking down his breath there, and there's no real insurance anywhere. Trying to heal up, yeah, I could do a few ideas, but can't do blinding gas anymore. An ounce of prevention doesn't seem to matter. Let's heal the man at arms. Okay, I need to reduce some stress here. So that's what we need to target, okay. Let's see. A beautiful crit there for 8, but I need more damage. And we can't really reach the back lines there with anything. Let's do this bolster. Wrath and Rancor. He went through the dodge. A play grenade for zero damage. I mean, that is not good, is it? So we're gonna do blinding gas. Hopefully, the sun. The, no, he did hysteria first, which missed, and he's gonna do that breath. I definitely need a Helion or... Each I need a Helion or I need something to hit the back lines there. Yeah, still in the back lines, which we can barely hit. Beautiful creed there. Now, if we were a bit more lucky with ah, let us hope they find peace. Yeah, if we were a bit more lucky with the rolls and it would have filled up the lungs here, that would have been better. But yeah, hey, you can't have. An amazing downfall without having a good run. It was a really good in and interesting run. We can say that we have done so much to get to this point and at least we'll understand better future battles, right? 
above all else, I think that's what's important here. Probably... Once again, teetering on that maybe... Precipice. Maybe... That's it! Even that... So, I am thinking... What I am thinking right now is this. You have the lungs. You can kill them. Of course you can kill them. And maybe that is a good idea, right? It is a good plan to do so. But maybe an even better idea would be... Take out the lungs only to remove this, right? To remove this buff. Have enough damage to reach the back line, have enough damage to do in the front line in order to remove breath. But do you actually want to concentrate on this guy in the middle, the seeding sigh? He doesn't have a lot of protection against damage over time and things like that, so you could do a lot here. Good to know for the future. A duelist advance or a wicked slice. Let's do the duelist. Ah. And this blind on barista is really awful. Yeah, I can't do too much. Could have put a lot of blight. Like, look at this. Double blight would be 12 damage. That's what I should have done there. I should have focused on the main guy, main guy no time to falter. while only trying to take out. I think we would have had a better chance if I did that, right? Because I I kept trying to attack the back lung for some reason because it had the least health. Yeah, we'll do another point blank shot. You need a bit over 10 damage apparently, okay. Yeah. I should have focused on the Every middle road enemy. End. Try and try again. You will break through and just try to take out his left lung whenever it gained power. If I would have done that, if I would have put all those blights on the middle of... I really hate myself right now. I almost feel like I could have had it. Ah. But that's, a, that's how it goes in this game. This is how you learn and this is how you do better next time. While the flame still burns, hope remains. I'm trying to figure out like what would be the next party. The seat of your denial oh, it's resentment. Precariously in the murky gloaming. So denial, resentment, and we'll see who what the else is next. To grasp a thread of connective worship that stretched across vast gulfs. Will these enemies combine somehow at the end? We've released the brain the first time, right? And now we're fighting the lungs? Let's see. Let's see what characters we have. Let's see who has good quirks and stuff. The occultist could be an interesting idea to bring to, to bear because we have this abyssal artillery and we also have a chance to heal. Now, bringing him back again, I don't think matters that much. At least at, at the end boss, I don't see him being useful. Melee creeds, fear of fanatics. Okay. Shall I do some sort of a wild party with this? Like for example, bring Dismas. Harid, a fugitive seeking to outpace the past. Then put in the second line probably her Nothing remains save a burning will to survive. And then we can do this party by throwing in the grave robber and the jester probably like this. Let's see if we can make something work here. Have the lunch have the point blank shot. 
have the wicked slice. And maybe double tap. With her, I'll have cauterize. Run and hide seems good as a protection skill. Smoke screen is good. Firefly, I don't think I want it right now. But Searing Strike and Ronan Sank, I do. Now I need to remove something, probably this one. Hmm. Let me remove Run and Hide in order to get Cauterize. And then we'll bring the Jester. Battle Ballad could be good. Slice off, Fade to Black, and Razor Wit to move back and forward. But maybe we should spread them around even more. So, Finale, we would need to be in the first two lines in order to do 100% more damage when target has combo with a 6 to 12 damage, some crit. Sure. But for that, I will need Razor Wits. Right, because we can put a combo on it. Target, so Echoing March, pull target 1 and we go forward by 1 as well. Razor Wit and let's say... Instead of a slice off, would it be better to take harvest? There is a chance here that we will put a combo on them, and I feel like this works really well with finale. Okay. Finally, we'll have our grave robber, and we'll say that I want to lose lunch. Dead of night, definitely. We're not losing Absinthe that much, more, at least not more than Dead of Night. We've rarely used Absinthe. Pick to the face would be interesting because there's a 50% extra chance when the target has a combo on it and it also ignores defenses. I haven't used Flashing Daggers that much, so we'll go with this combination right here. Venom Drop for a Path of the Grave Robber. Reducing the damage, the range skills by 25% damage and lose some initiative, but we would res we would give more blight with flashing daggers and movement skills have more chances to do blight. Is this considered a movement skill? I don't know if that is the case. We're not gonna go with either of these for now because I want her to be just a general character. Her quirk is Pyromania. Apply on hit 5% to do fire, gain on hit fire, and at the start of the round there is a chance that she will throw a Molotov, I guess, at the party. Amateur Armor Speed, that is good. Ascetic and Fear of Gaunt. If I take a look, Virtuoso. Now Virtuoso is interesting as far as providing resistance against stress and more health and more initiative. Should allow our Jester to do a lot more, but losing those resistances might be a death sentence. We'll see how we play that off. The Rogue or a Sharpshooter. What I am using with you will be Duelist Advance, Point Blank Shot, Wicked Slice. For the Duelist Advance, I'm not really going for damage. So most of our skills, I could say right now, are ranged attacks, right? Open Vein would cause bleeds. We have a party that could do a lot of damage over time. But for the moment, I 
I feel like going with the sharpshooter is better, right? Getting more initiative and range skill plus 25%, I feel like that is a good idea. Rogue if in rank 1 is plus 25, but if in rank 3 and 4 we would lose even more damage and I feel like with this party, with what we're planning to do here, there will be plenty of those, so we don't want to do that. Finally, getting Arsonist would do what? More chances to cause burn, 10% chance to crit on burn causing skills, minus 25% percent damage overall and at the start of the turn there's a 25% chance to well get fire more crits on these attacks let's not experiment that much let's unlock a few more skills before we decide to go with arsonist I think this is an interesting party, let's try it out. My main objective right now will not be to get to the darkest uh, mount, or somehow it is to win, but I am not putting too much hope the into it. Fall. Never to grow again. And now let's see what we can get at the Altar of Hope. As you can see, the town is starting to light up a little since we are unlocking a set of items. And I'm not gonna start here, I'm going to start in the Living City, let's see. So, we can get more Bleeding Resistance. For the Grave Robber, more Blight Resistance. For the runaway, it's here where we get Death's Doors Resistance and Haste. And the Jester needs a lot of investment as well. So this would cost us 21 to get to it. I need at least this first. I'm trying to make them more resistant to, to death and everything else. Right, we're doing this. With the runaway, we would need to invest, what, 11 to get here? And then another 11 here. Okay. I do not want to spend my last points on that, so let us go back. Yeah, we are not going to use those yet, but there's still a lot of stuff that is locked. Deadly stagecoach skin for 8? No. Probably there will be a building here in the future as well. Okay, well, let's take... Now stagecoach items cost 2 hope. Four increased quantity of looted relics. Let's open another one. New instruments will help us diagnose. The Almanac of the Tangle. Great. Let's unlock some trinkets as well. Shimmering Crown. At the start of the combat, if we have over a hundred relics, we will receive a hundred percent healing. If bubbles under a hundred, we would lose ten stress. I mean, it's cool, but what are the chances that we would get there? Greater Cleansing Sensor. Nice. Resistant, 50% resistance against diseases and debuffs. Every twinkling recollection. Clandestine Cape. At the start of the round, 50% chance to get stealth, but if we're getting hit, there's a 15% chance that we'll get vulnerable. I will do one more of these. Gain when hit, 15% to gain disease. If noxious item is equipped, plus 33% to cause blight. Crown's feet as a combat item, 
party wide one bleed per turn minus 20 percent resistance to movement skill and minus two to initiative okay this other one is reducing death's door's resistance okay i like what i see sanctuary as far as items are concerned i do like what i see here Okay, planning time. Who has the highest blight resistance? It's Audrey. So I'm going to give her this. Mostly because she can hide. She can do her stealth either way. And when she's stealthed, she has a possibility here to ignore dodges. And protection with upgraded lunge. Okay, good to know. The crown. The crown does not matter at this point. Gain. Who else has blight resistance? She has blight resistance, right? So we can do this. If noxious item is equipped, plus 33%. I do not know what a noxious item is. I don't think I've seen one so far. With Dismas, resistance to disease and debuffs, I want that on him. And I like this relic, but I am not sure when we're going to use it. Let's throw this combat item on him. And I'm looking forward to seeing this first test, this first test battle. More trinket supplies. Let's get the trinkets in. 15% stress resistance and death stores resistance. I think I would like that. Nervous, fear of gaunt. Let's give you protection against stress. I do not want anything from the Hoarder right now, although this Adrenaline Tonic, okay, I want that Adrenaline Tonic for later on. Let's give it to her for now. Comforts are exhausted. Ahead. Only trial and tribulation. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. How does this work? The jester seems to be the first one. I can do harvest or I can do a razor weight and try. Let's do a razor weight here. And I can do now a duelist advance. Or I could do a double tap. Okay. Good start. Do I do a lunge with you? Beautiful stuff. Stress release, I guess we have a lot of opportunities to do stress re release. I'm gonna bring you closer to us. If I wanna do finale, this is done in the first two lines. I mean, we have the opportunity to move around. That is good as an idea. We will have to pay a lot more attention. And try to figure out our moves more often than not. I am going to... Oh, I can't do another trinket. We're going to add another one of these to protect against stress and death store. Even though we will get more debuffs in the long run.
The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn awaits its favorite guests. For upgrading skills. Getting the duelist advance is probably the first move I want to do. Inspiring tune seems the second one that would be useful. If I upgrade finale, uh, we would get even more damage, 10 to 13. The launch is interesting as well, high crits. Throne Dagger is good. The Dead of Night to clear, to heal ourselves and lose stress. No, let's upgrade first of all the Inspiring Tune. This is our most important stress heal for right now. And second of all, I will do the Duelist Advance just to get that dodge. The next stop is we'll have the tangle, away. we'll have this Planet increased quantity way. of looted relics. Every road a winding torment. The further 10% positive banter, avoid the watchtower in order to gain a runaway trinket. If stealthed, 33% chance to get crit, apply on hit, heartlight skills. 33% chance to add a combo token, but fighting the Gaunt, minus 4, I'm not sure if when fighting Gaunt we get minus 4 to initiative, or that's just the effect, Gaunt minus 4 initiative. This is interesting as well, we would get a huge defense against debuffs and all of that, but let's go for this toy. I feel like the more combo tokens we have with this party, the better it will be. We have so many effects apply, apply on combo that it would be a shame not to use it. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. Let's wait for the map to settle and see what we see. I feel like during this first map we are not gonna go for the layer. They do not have enough damage combined. I feel like we need to upgrade it a few more times. The watchtower is here. There might be another watchtower coming up. Well, let's take the path to the right. Avoid some of the road battles. Get some supplies. Then we're gonna go for this resistant encounter. I think I'll follow the path to the right. All the way to the end. Perhaps I left this for you. Perhaps you left it for yourself. Okay. Perhaps it is not here at all. <laughs> Do you have even more? Perhaps is. Let's see. Greek fire, sure. You might have noticed that I didn't buy any kind of food. I am trying to figure out if there is a way to skip food on the first map. Almost feel like it should be. I find that I've done quite well on the first maps for a while now, where I'm not afraid anymore. We are very close to getting a hundred relics. I mean, this adrenal tonic I will buy. I will buy two of them, they're rare enough and useful enough to where I would like to to have them for, for future maps. Never in they all want to go to the, you take to, get there. to the watchtower, but our mission is fairly clear. He wants to fight, they all want to fight, we can get a buff and a speed up We're using the Jester and that is great for us. Lost Souls and a Lord. Yeah, 33% resistances to 
all of them all of the damage over time effects do i want to take out a few of the lost souls before we take out the lord yes Double tap here, and he's dead. Let me do a poison dart. And finally, with one of these attacks, I feel like we are going to kill the lost soul. Now the Lord will do whatever attack it wants to do. I really want to experience the finale and see how that goes. Five to ten damage, let's do it. Now we're not gonna get that huge buff because he does not have a token on him. Well let's see. Yeah, okay. Not that impressive without the token. Good to remember. Let me do a smoke screen here. We've blinded him, so if he does that painful prep. He managed to hit our entire party. Who knew? A brilliant conclusion. Okay. A brilliant conclusion. He's at that door. He he is not burning yet, he's just weak. Come on Jester, give me the possibility to do Inspiring Tune and we've managed to do that, okay. So definitely have to pay more attention to how I use the party and how far I push them. I get a lot of reaches. Is it just me? If in rank 4 there's a 33% chance to apply combo, sure. I think we can do this. We'll see if the healing impacts us that much. Oh, come on, we got sepsis there. Some chance to... 15% chance to get weakness. How very unfortunate. But we need to change... I guess we'll exchange this one. I don't think I have any other character who can put a blight on anyone, so... Don't think that this matters if you're not doing blight damage. Assistance encounter now. And they don't all agree here. They want to leave. They want to get some supplies by using hope. I agree that we should just leave. I do not want to use any of our hope right now. Negative banter is not going to help us in the long run. If we can create a few relationships between our characters, I feel it's going to pay off. Especially the healings. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Because we have 100 relics, relics we're healing to 100%. And the Highwayman is the one that needs it the most. Just go for Duelist Advance over here. We'll do a Harvest. He has the combo now, so... Sure, let's do a Ransack, which also spreads the fire. And I can throw a dagger here, giving a good chance for him to die. And he did. Okay, more stress. And a Blight. Can't do anything for right now except for killing one of them. Messy, but effective. 
straightforward and effective. The damage is good on them. None of them can truly tank, but other than that. Let's throw away some of this slime mold. I do not want to use it. Probably this one as well. Loading faster, okay, that is good. Let's see. After this cache, what's going to come up next? Got more hoop. Location scouting, not the worst. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. But how much are we going to use it? Increase the quantity of looted relics. And while in tangle, plus 15 damage. Oh, that's why we're getting a lot of relics here. We're increasing it by 4 every time. Then we're gonna remove this one. I'm not gonna equip this trinket. And neither on this one. Clearing corpses I don't care for. Curing blindness... I mean, might be interesting, might be useful, not necessarily interesting. We'll leave it at that, let's go to the right. Do we have an assistance encounter coming up? Slime mold. Give me something better. Desperate few. Once again, they don't all agree. Get a lot of hope. I think I like a lot of hope there. Even if it reduces our relationship with the grave robber. Yeah, we got a lot of food. Minus 10 to negative banter. Some whiskey. We got a lot of items. But how do we balance out what we're taking with us? Throw away slime mold, sure. But we need to throw away four more items. Resistance in battle, sure. I guess I'll throw away the resistance to death's door as well. I doubt I will, I'll be using that. I want the inventory and I want the negative banter reduction. I'll throw away the cards. And I'll throw away one of these blight resistances. Wow. Why? So she's boisterous, so she lost two relationship points there. Oof. They don't agree, and they agree on their own on what to do here. Let's try to form a bond. Dark Curiosity. Okay, that's not the worst one. It is ours now. Five blight and five fire. Cool item. Cool item, I feel. But that is party wise. This is party wide. I guess I'll bring it to you. And we'll use it in this oblivion rampart. Okay, as per usual, Arthur, Herald, and two Evangelists. I could do an inspiring turn here to begin with. And I will want to do, of course, a Duelist Advance.
with you. First of all, we're throwing a firebomb at whatever target we want. Oh no, that is the attack. And we got a crit there. Ugly hit. We can cauterize. Let's see. A searing strike. Let's do a ransack. Bringing the altar closer to us. Now their attacks in the second and third line are a lot easier to deal with. A double tap attack on it wouldn't necessarily add up. Let's do another duelist advance over here. We're not doing a lot of damage, mostly because we've reduced the damage on melee skills. I can do a harvest here. would be interesting let's throw a dagger here and with this combo one spread the fire or I could do a finale here let me do cauterize hmm, have to think of a way to go back there I'll do a Razor Wit here. I'll do a point blank shot. From this area right here. Ransacking seems like the right way or no, let's do it cauterize. Deal with the bleeding this there. At least has been tended to. Finale can hit any line. Okay, so I'm gonna do a crit. That's another buff there. I am hoping that Finale will hit here and it will hit fairly well. Let's see. So if I do now Finale... That's a 14 attack, but he didn't kill. So that wasn't as impressive as you might think. Bro, once again, we brought them at Ev's door. It's not enough yet. Okay, so that, that one died. Probably this one will die as well. He really has something with the grave robber there. The Herald has targeted the Grave Robber since the start. Okay. I feel like this should be a healing round mostly. In the sense that I'm doing a cauterize on the Highwayman. With the Grave Robber, I am going to do a Dead of Night, heal ourselves. Yeah, if we're not stealth, we're not healing a lot. We're healing only two, even with the dead of night. Good to know here. Inspiring tune. We'll do a duelist advance. That's it. Okay. Is a lesson learned. I don't know what to feel about this party, I feel like there isn't a, a tactic somewhere in there. We just have to discover what it is or how it is.
I am going to throw away the Whitling. I guess we will do this one. And here we are at the first thing. And it's only from here on out that the true challenge starts. The Hex Cauldron, 15% negative banter from here on out and we only heal 25%. Not ideal, Your coach is but we'll have to you see. No more. We'll have to see tomorrow what we will do. Until then, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.